Hi, welcome to this video. This video is going to go over how I calculated some of the results from the energy rate um, calculations with different ECMs. So first off, this, is, this video is going to use interval utility data, and this is the raw data that was received from the utility company. So you can see it goes from 1-1-2011 to December 31st, 2012. So, um, so that's good. And then we have also our 15 minute intervals here. But then we have kilowatt hours, power factor, and KVARs hours. So it's not necessarily a great list um, to use in Excel this way. Um, we can't make pivot tables and whatnot. So the first thing we do, and this is detailed in some of my other um, energy accounting videos, is we go from this list and um, we take it into a list like this. And again, I go over this in another one of my videos. But basically, we use the index function to find the kilowatt hours used. And then if we divide the kilowatt hours or, or multiply the kilowatt hours used by four, we get the peak kilowatt during that time period. Because remember, this is just 15 minutes increments. So that's why we have to multiply by four, because there's four 15 minute increments in an hour. OK, great. So now we have a usable list. And um, we actually just did this for 2011. So we only did this for one full year, this list. All right, so now we have this usable list. And now let's go um, to the calculations with, with no lighting reduction. So we're just calculating just from this list. So what we do is we generate a pivot table. And we generate a pivot table for each month, because we're going to say that each billing period is that month. Um, and then we have the sum of the kilowatt hours used, so during that month and then the max of the peak kilowatts that's used during that month. OK, and here's the results of our two rate structures, and that was covered in the previous video. And here is our cost of electricity um, in the given rate structure. So this is quite simply the um, sum of the kilowatt hours used from the pivot table for the given month, with this, which is January here, times the energy charges and then the max of the peak kilowatts times the power charges. And then that's using the power and energy charges. So actually, let's make this a little bit clearer. So that's using the power and the energy charges. And then if we use the blended rate, um, all we're doing is we're doing the sum of the kilowatt hours used times the blended rate. Okay. And we do the same thing with rate structure number two, except just using these three numbers. So again, the implications of this result are discussed in the previous video, but this is just sort of to show you how I got those results. OK, so now we take our, we go from our list with no light reduction, and we are um, going to reduce the peak kilowatt depending on our indoor lighting adjustment and our outdoor lighting adjustment. So the idea here is the indoor lighting adjustment is going to be 5 kilowatt reduction between the hours of 9 and 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. So 13, the 13th hour of the day is 1 p.m. And the outdoor is between the hours of 6 p.m. and 10 p.m. And it's a 5 kilowatt adjustment. So um, we have to do a uh, or statement, an if or, in order to accomplish this. So if it basically meets the hour criteria, then we subtract the 5 kilowatts. And I'll leave it to you to figure out how exactly this OR statement works. And we do the same thing with the outdoor um, power, um, peak power as well. OK, so then, then the same thing we do here, except now we have both the indoor lighting and the outdoor lighting. And the only thing that's different here is we didn't give ourselves a helper column here for the kilowatt hours used, we just reduced the peak kilowatt. So over here, what we have to do when we're calculating um, the, the energy charges, we have to divide by 4. So that's what this divide by 4 is right here. Because we're using the peak, the kilowatt, we have to divide by 4 in order to get kilowatt hours. And that's the only difference there. And then we get the savings from taking this and subtracting the same thing from the, um, 
the calculations with no light reduction. So that's how we did it for the indoor lighting, and we do the same thing for the outdoor lighting using these two columns. And again, those are just pivot tables. So that's how we did those calculations. And again, this is the most accurate way um, to, to perform these calculations. And you don't want to use um, the blended rate for sure. And sometimes um, the, you know, using the method number two, where you're just using um, sort of an assumption of when your peak occurs during the day and if you're reducing it, can give you um, some inaccurate um, cost calculations as well. Thanks for watching. Thank you.